Hello friends, welcome again in this IBMI session and we are going to discuss about uh, uh, the new topic that is the debug in IBMI and how we do the debug. So let's see. So what are the content for today session is that what is the debug and what is the command that we use for debug and what is the display module source and what are the functions in a display module source, right? So let's talk about what is a debug. So debug is a process of detecting and removing of the existing and potential errors also called as bug in a software code. And that can cause it to behave unexpectedly or crash. To prevent the incorrect operation of a software or system, debugging is used to find and resolve bugs or defects. So basically for a program, if you design a program and now you have to do a unit testing, but when you do a unit testing, you find some errors and but where is the error and what is the error? So you need to identify with the help of debug. So this is something to identify and fix the bug, right? So this is a debugging practice that we need to do or for development uh, for the unit testing, right? So we can fully, uh, we can fully say that our program is it have no bug, right? So this is something about debug. The command basically uh, uses the start debug where we start the debug, and once uh, we know that okay, the we want to end, we can use the end debug command, right? So these are the two basic commands that we use here for debugging the code. So uh, what is the display module source? So display module source command allows the user to show the source debug, display for debugging bound programs, right? So uh, we will see uh, in this and what is, uh, what are the functions in display mode source and we will discuss these also, the add clear breakpoint, uh, stab, display variable, watch, retrieve, work with module list and work in module breakpoint, right? So uh, Come and let's see in the green screen that how it looks, right? So this is basically a green screen and let's debug about any program. So let's say that, okay, uh, let's uh, debug any RPG program, right? Okay, then, so this is an RPG program, right? And we have this command, start debug. So just we do F4 and here you see, that it comes as a program. It asks what is the program name. So you will give the program name and which library it asks. So you say that my library is this, right? Now it also asks, do you want to update production files? Yes, basically if you don't say no and then the program fails, right? So you have to say yes, okay? Okay, you can also do the OPM source level debug, yes and then you just press enter. So this is something what the display module source, right? So this is something that, you know, the, the source is coming, right? So here you can see this is a source, but you want to start, right? So you can start from break BR1. So when you do BR1, at the first line it starts to break point, right? Now, now you have to call your and a program, right? So now you have set up that the way at the point line number one, my debug should start, right? So you can do F10 and now you can call your program. So you call your program, call, okay? So when you call your program, it, the first line you see in the highlighted, so it appears, right? The big point at line one. So if, for example, if you not put the big line one and you put somewhere else, then it will start from there, right? And then you can use F10 for next step, right? So just do F10. So you, you see here, the, it came to the, uh, at the C specs of free level, right? So now you can use F11. I have C set that the display variable, right? So what is this is? It says it gives the uh, values, right? So when you do F1 here, so it says this value, this, in this PD, PSDS program beam, this is a value. So this is STUACC01. So when again I do the F10, right? So this value got passed into the this variable, right? So if you do F11 uh, again, so you can see the display variable. 
so this is the value pass on right and when the program will get you know it get the green screen extremity then it will show here the program name right so this is something in the loop right so now we have to go with the loop if you can check what are the parameter what is the value for them so it says that okay the exit value is zero and it says that the uh, display cancel value is also zero now we can go further right so now this is you know this is a uh, something uh, what we say this is a procedure right so you have to go with the procedure right the extremity but it has not gone right so i will let you know why so now the screen will appear okay now do the next again f10 and now uh, it will Right. So basically, you see that this is the screen which appears, right? And this is a variable that came at that level, right? So this is something you get the screen. Now you now you would press enter. Now you press enter, then again it go to the program code, right? And now again you do some steps because. Uh, I think it is not compiled with the correct. Now, now if you want to compile, you have to do F10. Now I have to press this. Now you can go to this procedure. So again, you can debug this. This value, value code, right? So when you debug this, so it will on because it will get on Y. It says that, okay, this is a zero. So I have to get on. So there should be there when you get any error, there should be the leave SR right leave this procedure or you can you know uh, go back to that screen right so but i uh, but uh, you no know, there is some errors right so some need to be fixed this program so it will read all the all all the fields and highlight all the fields right and i back do again to this and this is something uh you know refresh but as you see this this will be get this procedure will be only called when this is on right so here you see the value is zero so this is not going to be called right and now you see add so if you again go with this so this is not zero right so this is again not going to be there so it will go to the end if and then and do uh, it will check whether my exit or cancel was off or on so again you can see the value so no you can see the value no and again it will go right so you can press again to set the indicators right you have just of the indicators and again you will go for the values and somehow right if you if you don't want to know somehow it comes like this right so what you can do you can again do a breakpoint on this so you what is the uh, function of this so this is f6 add or clear you just click on f6 here and a breakpoint is added right now what you have to do you have to press f12 right so when you it will jump directly to here so when you do f12 it jump to that screen and you know it gone there right so i think i missed some step right so you can call again this so when you call again this call this so and i i directly call you know so that so this is a screen because i directly jump to that breakpoint of x20 right so this is something about debug right and and now uh, no there is some other things like i do the command e and dbg right so this is the wrong one this e and D, dbg so if we have any errors right so we have to fix it for example we the all you see that in this screen all the indicators are getting on or at the same time but it should not be there should be there that the student ID okay this is not valid you, you go to a screen you correct that the source and again you go to the next screen and you correct so this should be the sequence right so there is some so you have to fix this right so in this way with the debug you understand what is the logic behind and what is running and how it shows here so with the help of a debug we can fix our issues right I have told you something like the DSP more source right so this is what the so okay, this is not again again go to debug 
right now i want to debug the cl program right so cl program i go to the cl program and uh, i debug this cl right so you do debug str dbg and you just press enter okay no source available the thing is that the, this is not compiled with source right because uh, the because when you compile here by default you see you see here so no when you compile here so you, uh, you have to press f10 and you have to find the debug right there's a debug source right so there's a debug view you have to compile with source as C D right and then you compile again right so and now you do the okay so if you do and dbg i have done or not so after start debug, if you have debug, you have to end debug, and then again, you have to start debug, right? So now you see this is the code is coming, right? So you can do break one, okay? And you can do, you have to call this now. So you can do F10 and go back to the command line, and you can call this, right? Okay, so this is something I want to say. Now here you see that I want to call this program, right? So what is a program? So let's see what is a program. Let's do the F10, right? And now you see that this is, what is the value? This is the value, right? So it should be the value value. This. So this is the value. Now you want to call this program, right? So, but this program is not in debug mode. So what you should do? Right? So you should do there and uh, no, you want to add something, no, save to what we saw. Uh, okay, we can go here and we can oh, F12 and we can have the module list, right? So we have also told about module list, so you can give your program as to you AC1, okay? So when you select this one, it will come here and you will see 5, okay? So it will start here, right? Now, in, at the starting when we debug, we have given the break here. But now, now you can do a debug also. Uh, you want to say, okay, <clears throat> I want to debug here, right? F6. So you just press breakpoint here, right? Now, I want to also give you something about the watch. So watch will say that for any variable, you can add watch. So if you add here watch, it is ch. So whenever the value changes, right, initially the value is blank, right? So if you see, the value should not be there, right? We we'll call it not in running mode. So generally when it initializes, so it is a blank value. But when the value will change, the watch will appear, right? It will let you know this value is changed, right? So just do add a watch. Oh, at the runtime, we will add watch, right? So let's go to and call the serial program, right? So let's go to CL program. Okay, and we have not done something we give an error. What is an error? The error is that during the open of file we have not set this, right? This is something the update production file, right? So we have not done it. So it is the error, right? So just you now end the program. And it's again we have DBG, right? Okay. So you have to you know, call. Oh, sorry, not call. We have to read debug. So debug this again. So see, while debugging, you will see that you can get some. So you can by here you can set here y, right? So you can set y and break one, okay? And do f10 and then call the program. So we call the program here. And when you call the program and do f10 next step. So you can do f10. So now you have to add the module list to F14. You just press and S to U E C G G O one. Okay. So this will give you here one, right? Again, I want to break here, or oh, you can clear the break. Okay. So now I say, okay, I, I, I by mistake I have I have given the break point, so I have to clear it. So what I will do, I will now. F6. So cursor is not there. You can just go to this position, right? And then you can just remove this big point. So the big point is right. Okay. 
okay now I need the break point in this position right so I have given this break point here in this position okay so I will give it in press F6 and then and then you know, I will see or will say okay I want to check okay why because I have given Y at the initial phase of the table so it will follow that only right so now again I will uh, no, all the programs will do then okay and uh, I have to go out and then, then okay I have just debug so I have not uh, no, it was in debug mode so it was called right so now, now you see the value right so this is x20 now I want to say that okay uh, when uh, this is only first time let's see when this value get changed right so uh, where we can put okay we put here so we put for refresh the watch right so we can put watch press add it right so you can see your watch even so you can just press Well, watch list you have the work with watch list so this is something the watches you can clear the watch you want to clear okay so I have just added the watch and let's see when it will get on it is by default if you see okay this is all right now now you go to the you know, you just do F10 it's empty okay because uh, this is just reading you know so the program need to be compiled with the right uh, compiler option right here. So if we give F5, now I have just pressed F5, say watch number, instruction this. So this, it says that this is the variable of this get, okay. Just press enter, okay, then uh, F12, and then, You will see here it will let you know that okay this value is on right okay you can now want to remove your so you can clear watch is got clear so you will not get any other message right so now you can go again okay and okay so this is this this is the way you debug it right so this is now this is you no know, I want to make you understand that how we debug anything, any program, right? And how to add any module, you know, if you have some successive programs and you want to add them, right? So with the help of the module list, we do that, right? So that is something, you know, you need to understand that how we debug the program. And once our, uh, once our, you know, everything is finished, right? So we can do, okay, this is finished. Then we can do E and D, D, B, D. So this is something, uh, no, uh, and they will know that we can do. So this is this is a small no, this is a small uh, way that after doing some program and you want to test it, but you in testing you get some error, but now you want to identify where where is the correct error. So with this debug option, you will be able to identify it. Right? So this is something all about now. So we have we have discussed about the clear weak point, the step, the display variable, watch. Retrieve is something if you press F9, then whatever the value is, the value you got, so in the variable, it, it will just give you that. Work with module list and work with the module list, weak point, right? So thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel if you like it. Thank you very much. Bye.